Hey everybody, uh, I thought I'd do a quick transplanting video. I'm going to take these uh, little seedlings that I started in my greenhouse and transplant them into larger containers. Um, on this end right here, I've got one, two, three, four little rows of early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. And that means one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 24 um, potential cabbage plants there. And, you know, there's, there's two or three in here. So I'm going to have to, you know, select the ones that I'm going to be keeping. Uh, I won't do that right now at this stage. I'm just going to transplant them into the larger pot, see which ones take off and are a little bit healthier. And, uh, eliminate the others. So that's uh, some early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. Uh, these four rows here, let's see, one, two, three, yep, uh, are um, an early broccoli. Um, and then on the very end there, those four are actually turnips. Um, and I wanted to try, you know, to start the turnips from seed uh, this year. I've never grown turnips before, so We'll see how that goes, and I know it's uh, probably best to just start these out in the garden from seed. But anyway, I'm going to try to do some transplanting. And what I'm going to be doing is putting these into these larger pots. Now I got these pots um, from Lowe's. Um, if you go to your local Lowe's, they usually have a cart setting somewhere in the garden center outside that has empty pots on it. And these are totally free. These are um, containers that you can reuse um, instead of having to buy them. You can see this used to have a begonia in it. So what I try to do is I try to get decent sized pots because uh, I'm going to put these in there leave them in there for a couple weeks so they have a lot of room to spread out. And uh, so these are totally free. I also try to get the same size. You can see that big stack back in the back that I have. Um, another thing that I'm going to use, instead of having them spread out all over the place, I keep them in these little segregated compartments, uh, little containers. I can carry them around pretty easy. And when, it's pretty convenient when, you, when it's time to transplant them into the garden. You just carry these out there. And, of course, you reuse these, too. Uh, one thing that I would do if you get the free pots is make sure you rinse them out really good. Um, I don't th I've don't. i never washed them off with soap and water. I guess you could do that. But just spray them off, get all the excess dirt out of there, and uh, reuse them. It's pretty cheap. Free, as a matter of fact. All right, let's uh, do some trans. Okay, so one challenge that I ran into when I was trying to grow this stuff in these little compartments here is getting them out once they get to this size or maybe sometimes I let them get a little bit bigger you can see some of these have uh, their new the new growth on them where uh, they're getting their, their true set of leaves um, so sometimes I let them get a little bit bigger but I have the time now so I'm going to go ahead and transplant these into these larger containers now as far as this soil you can use uh, any type of potting soil uh, this is some that I got from Lowe's it's the cheapest they had and I had some extra perlite, so I just added it um, to this soil. Now, this doesn't have any fertilizer in it. Uh, it does have, uh, I think it does have a little bit of compost, but nothing, uh, you know, fancy. All right, so I'm going to take, uh, let's see, let's take this one on the end. And it's got three in there. I'm just going to go ahead and leave them in there. What I do is I take whoops let me show you this way take my little fork go in here you can see some of the roots take them and set them in my little pot cover them up I might add a little bit more dirt to the top there, just to bury them a little bit more.
All right, they're in there. And they'll do just fine in this pot for, you know, three, four more weeks till it's time for me to put them out. Now, one thing that I did do today, it's August 4th, and uh, it's in the 90s. I had some larger cabbage plants in my greenhouse. And according to a planting chart, uh, I could go ahead and put those plants out. So I did it. So these are my backup plants, just in case the other ones get burned up. Something happens to them. I'm going to have some backup plants here. So just to make sure I've got me some cabbage in the fall. So once I get uh, little transplants in there, uh, this is really fancy, but I usually take some craft sticks. I have no idea how much I pay for these, but I guarantee it wasn't too much. Take me a little sharpie right on there. Uh, these do, you know, these do deteriorate, deteriorate, and also you're going to have smudges and stuff. But as long as I know what's in there, that's you know my main concern. And I'll take this and just stick it in there. And I don't uh, put one in every pot. Uh, once I get a tray here, I have a tray full. Just set it in there and you know your whole tray is full of Jersey cabbage. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll have, uh, you know, I'll have eight in here. So that's a pretty good start. And I'll go ahead and fill up the other ones. I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. All right, y'all, this is what we got. Eight little pots of early Jersey Wakefield cabbages ready to be put in my greenhouse chill out for a couple weeks actually not chill out it's very hot in there grow for a couple weeks um, probably sometime this week um, the end of yeah the end of this week it's Sunday now so maybe next Sunday I'll go back in there and uh, do a little trimming I'll get, some, uh, get rid of some of these plants and just leave one per pot. So uh, I'll have eight Jersey Wakefield cabbages ready to be put out in my raised beds once I have my beds uh, all cleaned out and prepared for the fall. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hey watching. Everybody. So uh, these are the same plants. This is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Six days later. And I want to show you how I thin these. What I do is just find the healthy plants that I want to keep. That's it. Just come in here and trim these. The roots to these other plants will die and you'll have one plant per pot. So that's all I'm going to do. Pretty easy. This one back here, I like that one the best. A little bit of non-invasive surgery. And I'll have eight broccoli plants, wait, eight uh, cabbage plants, eight broccoli plants when I'm finished. Thanks for watching.